I'm going to start my speech today with a Greek myth about a king named Midas. He had a wish granted where he wanted to turn everything that he touched into gold. He loved it at first, like he turned trees, rocks, and buildings into gold. But soon he realized that even the food he touched turned into gold. And he also hugged his daughter, and she turned into gold as well. Our world had a similar problem when we turned out, when we figured out how to turn brown sticky goo into plastic. The reason why this relates to his story is because at first he thought that his world was going to be amazing, where he could turn everything into gold, just like how we thought that plastic was going to be a very good revolutionary material, but it's now just been known as trash. It's been ruining our environment and ruining the animals that we eat, and somehow it's ending up in our bodies as well. Today I'm going to talk about what plastic is, how it's affecting the environment, and why we should get it. Plastic was invented 100 years ago. It was cheap and convenient and didn't really hurt. It didn't like require that much work to make, and it was able to be molded into any shape. And there's also very many different types of plastic. Bakelite, which is used for electrical equipment. PVC, which is used for plumbing. Acrylic, which is a glass alternative. And nylon, which is used for stocking and war equipment. Plastic, today plastic is found in almost anything. Clothes, phones, computers, houses, and cars. But now it's just been known as trash. Coffee cups, plastic bags, and plastic wrap. So that brings me into my second point, which is how it's affecting our environment. Plastic takes up to 500 to 1,000 years to break down, which is weird that we use such a durable product to be used for things that are just going to be thrown away. According to SaveTheEarth.org, 40% of plastic are used for packaging. U.S. packaging takes up one-third of all waste. And since its invention, we have produced 8.3 billion metric tons of plastic. There are eight million tons of plastic that enter the ocean every single year, which means by the year 2050, it will outweigh all the fish in the ocean. In 2015, 90% of all birds had eaten some sort of plastic. You may have seen the whale that washed up in Italy. This is not the actual whale, it's just the sculpture that they made to represent it. But it had eaten uh, 48 pounds of plastic and it made headline news, but still, somehow people still continue to throw in plastic and use plastic every day. UV rays, UV rays break down plastic into these tiny particles, and there are 52 trillion of them in the ocean. And these fish eat the plastic, or eat these tiny particles, and we eat those fish, so we're affected too by plastic. And that plastic, those little particles have been found in beer, honey, and even our household dust. And 8 out of 10 babies have been born in this month, some sort of microplastic in their bodies. Which brings me into my final point which is why we should ban plastic. Unfortunately, the concept of banning plastic is a lot more confusing than it may seem, because we're going to have to come up with some other sort of resource, like cutting down trees, which has more of an environmental impact. And we also waste a lot of food every year, and plastic, even though it's just a Ziploc bag, that can't help reduce that amount to some extent. And if we don't change how plastic, what we're doing with plastic globally, the problem will never be solved. And China is one of the leading producers of plastic to the ocean. But we can start small by just simply recycling. Like my family uses reusable plastic or reusable bags when we go grocery shopping. And I use like a bamboo toothbrush so that way when you throw it away, it doesn't hurt the environment. And my whole family also uses reusable straws, which can have, which can save turtles. And um, if we don't change, if we don't think fast about what the future holds for plastic, then we'll never change it. And uh, we need to be a lot more careful with this magic material or we're going to end up with a world that we didn't wish for just like King Davis.